Using Travel Agency CRM, you can manage all your vendors and their contacts, send reservation requests via email and track them till they confirm. Of course, you can record all the payments that you'd be making to your vendors. Let me now show you how you can really create different vendors, their contacts and manage the reservations with them. So let me go back to the example that we were showing. So you had one of the contacts, which is Lucy Williams. And Lucy is planning for a vacation in Kerala. So for Lucy, you have a trip which you have created. So if you get inside the trip out here, you'd be seeing that against the trip, you had created a quote and also you had created an invoice because Lucy has confirmed you the trip. Now that you have started getting the deposit from Lucy, it's time that you make the reservations with your different vendors. Now in the vendors module, you can maintain the different vendors that you deal with as a travel agency. So you, your your vendors could be a hotel, a cab agency, a sightseeing agency. It could be any organization that you deal with. So let's take an example of one of the vendors out here. So here's a vendor, which is a Kerala Beach Resort. And you can see that against this vendor, there's a contact uh, that you can tag. And in fact, you can keep on tagging multiple contact. There are multiple vendor reservations that you have made for with this vendor and there are two products that they sell. One is the Accommodation Kerala Beach Resort and they also sell hotel booking in Goa. So against a vendor, you could go ahead and do all these different activities. And if you get to each record out here, like for example, you want to see which person that you deal with. So you can see the details. What are the vendor reservations that you have done with this vendor in the past and what is their status? You can go ahead and check that part of it. Now for Lucy, you possibly would like to make uh, reservations with this vendor. So what you could really do, you could go ahead and create a vendor reservation, a reservation for accommodation for Lucy. So you could say uh, accommodation for Lucy. And once it is done, you can choose the vendor out here. So you are trying to make a booking with Kerala Beach Resort. So you can filter for Kerala. So you can choose that part of it. Reservation date, that means you are sending the request for uh, today. And reservation start date, that means the trip is going to start on 20th. So you can, you can select 20th out here. And the trip is going to end, let's say on 25th. So you can select 25th out here. Arrival is going to be by uh, Indigo and Departure is possibly going to be by British Airways. You can also choose a due date, that is the date by which the hotel needs to confirm you back. So you can choose the date as, let's say, 15th of this month, and the status would automatically be confirmation awaited. Now, over here, under the FIT, so you can see over there that you can tag this reservation against a fixed departure or a FIT. In this case, this is the FIT, that means a flexible trip. So you can choose the trip from here. So you can say that this trip is against this trip of Lucy. So you can choose that part of it. The contact person is going to be Lucy out here. And all the other details, you can go ahead and tag that part of it. Now, for this reservation, you are requesting for and accommodation. So the moment you start typing it out, you get the details out here and you're looking for 10 room nights over there. So you can go ahead and select that part of it and you can mention the details. So it's going to be uh, 10 room nights. So you can mention the details and you could also capture details like this is going to be a river facing room. Okay, uh, so with all these details, you can go ahead and save this vendor reservation. Now, once the vendor reservation is saved, if you want to see that how does the vendor reservation look like, you can also export this vendor reservation into a PDF. So over here, there are multiple templates, just like uh, your quote or invoice. Over here as well, you can go ahead and maintain multiple uh, templates. So you can choose this template and you can say, okay, please generate the template from me. So this template is created over here, which is the vendor reservation template. And this is going to be 
sent to the specific vendor which is Kerala Beach Resort and all the details like which guest is going, their details, the reservation date, uh, the due date, the reservation start and end date and the agreed prices has been mentioned in this template. Now just like the quote and invoice, if you want to send this vendor reservation via email to your vendor, you could also go ahead and do this part of it. Now please note that for this vendor reservation, the total price is 95000 okay? Now, if you go back to your trip out here, like this reservation has been created for this trip. So, if I go back to this trip out here, you'd be seeing that in the trip under the FIT, the trip cost has also been updated from the related vendor reservation. So, just to summarize this part of it, so inside your trip, if you look at your total revenue, which is the amount is updated from the quote or invoice grant total and your total cost is updated from the related vendor reservation grant total and the difference between the two is going to be your trip profit. As you can see over here that I'm into the trip module and against the trip, I have added a vendor reservation. In fact, I can keep on adding multiple vendor reservations out here. Like for example, this was for accommodation. Now, if I want, I also can add one for local sightseeing. I can just keep on uh, pressing add new, add new, and you could keep on creating multiple vendor reservations out here.